This is the GED review video for linear equations. Okay, we can sometimes use equations to help us solve word problems. The total cost of repairing a car is the sum of the amount paid for parts and the amount paid for labor. We paid $82 for parts and $40 for each hour of labor. The total cost to repair the car was $242. How many hours did it take to repair the car? So first, we should identify the variable. And the variable is going to be what the question is asking you to find. In this case, it's asking us for hours. So we can say that H equals the number of hours. Now the numbers that need to somehow go into our problem are 82, 40, and 242. It's often good to find a total if there is one. In this case, the total is 242. So we know we're going to be adding something together that's going to equal 242. Now in our equations, there's usually going to be a number multiplied by the variable. So you can look at the numbers you have and see which one does it make sense to multiply by our variable. Would it make sense to multiply the cost for parts times the number of hours? No. So that 82 can just stay by itself. Would it make sense to multiply the cost for each hour by the number of hours? That it would. So we can say 40 each. And that's our equation. And now to solve, we can say minus 82 from both sides. 40 h equals 160. And if we divide by 40, we get 4 hours. Okay, you spend $40 on clothes and buy 4 DVD movies. Your friend spends nothing on clothes and buys 8 DVD movies. You both spend the same amount of money. That's important. All the DVDs cost the same amount. How much does each DVD cost? Okay, so our question asks for the cost of the DVD. So we can say C equals cost of DVD. Remember, you can use whatever variable you'd like. So in this scenario, we have one friend buying something and the other friend buying something. And those two friends spent an equal amount of money. Okay, well, I have to deal with 40 4 and 8. Does it make sense to multiply the cost of clothes times the cost of a DVD? No, they have no relationship. Would it make sense to multiply the cost of a DVD times the number of DVDs you bought? That it would. So plus 4C. Your friend spends nothing on clothes and buys 8 DVD movies, so that would be 8C. And that's our equation. Okay, since we only have a number over here, we should probably get our variables to this side. So we can subtract 4C. We get 40 equals 4C. And the final step is to divide by 4, and each DVD costs $10.